Okay, so here we have the SEMA AK-105. I plugged in a Valken 9.6 volt nickel metal hydrate battery, and I'm running it in a high cap with 0.25 gram BBs. The gearbox is stock. We have some external upgrades as well as a new GNP hop-up bucking. So to test just how it sounds, let's do a couple trigger pulls on semi-auto, and then full auto. Okay, so I'm gonna rock the magazine in. If you're looking at two trees straight ahead of me and the camera, that's about 100 feet away. The shed is about 125 feet away and the logs all the way back there, which might be hard to see in the camera, but they're there is about 150 feet away. So I'm going to aim for the two trees and then I'll move to the shed, the shed door to be precise. Um, that's about a human sized target, a little bit bigger. Uh, and then the logs all the way in the back. Hop-up is adjusted. Um, again, I'm shooting 0.25s, stock gearbox, upgraded GNP hop-up bucking. All right, so on semi, there we go. Just getting a little bit of wind out there, uh, not too much. pretty consistent, uh, going straight in the same place. Uh, so we're gonna aim for the doors now of the shed. So again, you can see a bit of that wind out there. But hitting that pretty consistently as well. Um, let's take it to 120 or 150 feet, all the way back there with the logs. Yeah, that's definitely hitting that pretty easily. Um, and I'm gonna take it back to the end of my yard. That's probably gonna be about 175 feet. Uh, I, okay, I, I'd say about 160 feet. Um, logs are pretty far back there. So let's take a couple shots. Yeah, and we're definitely hitting all the way across the yard. Um, so yeah. So just to give a bit of an overview of what we've got here, we've got the SEMA AK-105. Uh, this is a Tokimurui style body, again. Uh, so we've got the custom gas tube. Um, just got a bit of wear and tear on it, but I uh, just had to work on this gas tube up here, and it's got a rail up top. We do have a rail on bottom as well. Uh, I like to sometimes mount a very tiny like pistol flashlight, or I've mounted a pistol grip to it. Uh, either way works. Um, we do have just a standard orange flash hider. I covered it in black electrical tape. Um, I'm gonna undo just a bit of that when I ship it. So we've got a very strong selector lever. Um, I did actually end up tightening it. Um, so it's very positively clicking into place. Um, we do have the bolt arm. So the battery, it's a little bit stiff uh, when you've got the battery in there. As you can see, it doesn't slide all the way forward. Um, but that's just what it is. Uh, I stuck a nunchuck in there with a stick type or a lipo that should be more than fine. Um, we do have, I actually put a retro arms um, button to hold on the top receiver, the bolt cover, um, just to give it a little more uh, stiffness. I didn't like the stock one. Uh, and as you can see, we have the hop up in there. It is a polymer hop up unit. Um, but it adjusts pretty easily. I did tighten the screws on that so it very stiffly stays into place. You're not gonna get a lot of movement, if any. Um, and then we do have standard sights. And on this side, we do have the scope mount. Uh, as you can see, it is used. Uh, you do have a couple scratches here and there, um, but nothing that doesn't give it some character. So again, uh, this is a SEMA AK-105. It'll come with this magazine two stick types, an 8.4 and a 9.6, as well as three MagBrand mid-cap magazines.